you've always been there Ragashing love from you Tsunami I'm aware Love coming back to you Nityanam guys, come back, new episode I uh, welcome you all with my love and respects and the divine blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Again, reminder, song released. That's what I started the video with. So check out the link description below and or in my, on my channel. The song is there. It's called Living Flame and it's a song about Swamji remix of a song, uh, Circles from Post Malone. And... Um, I wanted to share an experience, again related to the lyrics that I chose in the song uh, Raw gushing love from you, tsunami I'm aware, love coming back to you. So the first time I went to have an experience with Swamji on two-way, so it was on a two-way video conference uh, setup, it was a Kalpataru class actually, and uh, it was in, if I'm not mistaken, March 2014, March 7th. I think, yes, I think it's on March 7th. And uh, I went to that class. That was the first time Swamiji was seeing me. See, before that, I read his books, I watched his discourses online. But uh, on that, for the Kalpatur program, it was the first time Swamiji was seeing me directly. And in that, uh, that class, that uh, event that happened, Swamiji was uh, talking about the importance of, like, how do you meet the master? He says, how do you love the master? He says, the master loves you. His love enters you, fulfills you, and comes back as a form of love for the master, love for the master. So it is a beautiful cycle where, because Paramashiva in the form of Guru, Swamiji, loves, that love enters me, fulfills me, and it comes back as a form of love for the master, love for the Guru. And that's what I talked about in this song. So then again, at least for this part of the song, um, then again, that I was saying in a previous video that all these uh, experiences that the master gives you, they're there to answer your questions and, you know, give you the strength to jump further in the relationship of the Guru-Disciple relationship. And the deeper you go, naturally, the more depth you explore consciously and your awareness skyrockets. It becomes so much more powerful and so much deeper because you dare to explore these depths with the blessing and the confidence that you have on your Guru. So that's what I meant by these lyrics, actually. Um, love coming, uh, love, love coming back. No, sorry. <laughs> raw gushing love from you so his love is very pure very ferocious very raw it's it's just pure love so raw gushing love from you tsunami i'm aware tsunami is like when it's love when his love enters you it's like a tsunami it just it just gushes all over the place and takes over the entire the entire inner space and um it leads to what fulfillment awareness so because of his tsunami of love my awareness got, you know, got awakened uh, back and love coming back, for t love coming back to you. So like that, uh, once that uh, awareness comes, the gratitude, because gratitude is the most important key. Like I mentioned, I guess, in some, I think in some past videos, gratitude is the experience that we, that is related to the Sahasrara Chakra. And unless you have gratitude, you cannot experience pure enlightenment. So the space of eternal bliss is a space of eternally grateful. So the Guru becomes the object of gratitude because everything revolves around the Guru. The Guru is the object of gratitude for everything. And um, he allows us to, again, reintegrate ourselves, to intensify ourselves in the space of gratitude. So and it comes back as the love for the Guru, the surrender and uh, yeah, gratitude. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys in this video, um, sharing with you. And um, I'll see you guys in another video. Check out the song and I'll see you guys next time. Nidhyanandam.